Hello everyone, Women's Organizations. In 1910, Sarla Devi Chaudhurani convened the first meeting of the Bharat Sri Mahamandal in Allahabad. Considered as the first major Indian women's organization set up by a woman, its objectives included promotion of education for women, abolition of further system and improvement in the socio-economic and political status of women all over India. Sarla Devi believed that the man working for women's upliftment lived under the shade of Manu. Ramabai Ranade founded the Ladies Social Conference Bharat Mahila Parishad under the parent organization National Social Conference in 1904 in Bombay. Pandita Ramabai Saraswati founded the Arya Mahila Samaj to serve the cause of women. She pleaded for improvement in the educational syllabus of Indian women before the English Education Commission, which was referred to Queen Victoria. This resulted in medical education for women, start, which started in Lady Dufferin College. Later, Ramabai Ranade established a branch of Arya Mahila Samaj in Bombay. In 1925, the National Council of Women in India, a national branch of the International Council of Women, was formed. Mary Bai Tata played a vital role in its formation and advancement. She opined that the Parda system, caste differences and lack of education prevented women from working to solve societal problems. Other women who held important positions on the executive committee of the council included Cornelia Sarabji, India's first lady barrister, Tarabai Premchand, wife of a wealthy banker, Shafi Tiabji, a member of one of Mumbai's leading Muslim families, and Maharani Sucharu Devi, daughter of, daughter of Keshav Chandra Sen. However, according to critics, the philanthropic style that was being followed by this woman was that of upper-class English women. The All India Women's Conference AIWC founded by Margaret Cousins in 1927 was perhaps the first women's organization with an egalitarian approach. Its first conference was held at Ferguson College, Pune. Important founding members included Maharani Chimna Bai Gaikwad, Rani Sahiba of Sangli, Sarojini Naidu, Kamala Devi Chattopadhyaya, and Lady Dorab Tata. Its objectives were to work for a society based on principles of social justice, integrity, equal rights, and opportunities, and to secure for every human being the essentials of life not determined by accident of birth or sex, but by planned social distribution. For this purpose, the AIWC worked towards various legislative reforms before and after India's independence, some examples being Sardha Act 1929, Hindu Women's Right to Property Act 1937, Factory Act 1947, Hindu Marriage and Divorce Act 1954, Special Marriage Act 1954, Hindu Minority and Guardianship Act 1956, Hindu Adoption and Maintenance Act 1956, The Suppression of Immoral Traffic in Women Act 1958, Alternative Benefits Act 1961, Dowry Prohibition Act 1961, and Equal Remuneration Act 1958-1976. Like, share and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you. Bye.